guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I curl my hair. Um, a lot of you have asked like what I use, how do I get the texture, how do I get the volume. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you just that and all the products that I use to achieve. Not this look, um, we haven't curled the hair yet, but um, I'm going to show you how I kind of bump up the curls in my natural hair. So this is my natural hair. This is what happens when I leave it to air dry. Um, it is, you can see there's a, it's a bit of frizz and a bit of like curls that kind of don't look like they're meant to be there. Um, but I'm going to show you how I curl my hair on top of my already curly hair. Um, before, um, I used to straighten my hair and then curl it. But then because the hair was straightened before, the curls would just drop. And I found the curls hold more on my natural hair than my straightened hair so that's what I'm going to be doing today if you have naturally straight hair you can follow the same steps you probably just need to put in a bit of hairspray or something to hold um, the, the, the curl in your hair so the product that I like using before I get started is a 10 in 1 leave-in spray this is from um, Hask um, it's their range called Unwind that has like a little bit of white wine inspired um, so it shines, smooths, conditions, thermal protection, eliminates frizz, nourishes, detangles, strengthens, mends, slit ends, and repairs damage. So I'm not quite sure, like, you know, if it's actually all true. All I know is that it really helps smooth out the hair so all these, like, frizzies stay down. Um, it also adds a really, really lovely shine to your hair, and I'm guessing if it has thermal protection, it has thermal protection. So what I like to do is I like to just shake it a bit and then spray it all over. The hair I avoid the roots just so it doesn't make my roots oily throughout the day and then I just tie it up and then I spray the back of the hair and then I just mush it through because you don't want to make your hair overly saturated you just kind of want to put through the product and then what I'll do is if I have a lot of time I will section the hair usually if I don't have a lot of time I will just straighten the outside of the hair because if your hair is naturally curly like mine you kind of already have that curly volume as you can see I have a lot of volume just from the way that I sleep and I tie my hair um, so if you are wanting to curl like from the bottom and like get started you can just section your hair however you prefer I like just putting it in one thing I'm not a hairdresser hairdresser I'm not a hairstylist I don't know what I'm doing I just do it and I hope and pray for the best so let's talk about my curling iron I paid a hundred rand from this from clicks like I said I'm not that big into hair, so I don't buy expensive hair products. I'm more of a makeup gal, but today I'm doing a video <laughs> on my hair. Um, so this is what the curling tongue looks like. I don't put my hair through that. I just curl it with the thing. So yeah, I paid 100 rand. This is a Clicks brand, so I'm not quite sure, you know, how long it's going to last me, but it does the trick. So what I'll do is I will take a section of hair, and then I will twist it around like this. And then I will just... Oh, Lord what a great start i will just wrap the hair around the barrel and then i'll wait like 10 to 15 seconds um you should always be cautious of how long you actually put your hair on the curling iron you don't want it to fry off and then as you can see i just get like this luscious luscious curl and this is all just to create volume this is not necessarily what the curls are going to look like because when you put the curls on top from this top head of my um, hair it's just going to cover it anyway so this is just to create some like extra volume and you can go what i like to do is i like to curl them in different directions so you get more of a natural curl um i feel like if you have one kind of curl that goes in the same direction every time it looks like you've curled your hair i kind of like the look where it's like did she curl her hair? We're not sure. Um, yeah, that's just my personal, like, style. I just like having, like, um, it's not a beach wave, but it's kind of like, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's looking a bit ridiculous, like a come out of the 1900s. But then you would just, just brush it through with a brush or your fingers just to lower the curl and just make it less you know spunky I kind of don't pay attention to the back um, I kind of leave the back as it is and then I'll curl the back of the top section of my hair this is like I said all just to create an extra bit of volume in the front because the front bit of my hair tends to be like a bit limp so yeah, that's what the front looks like it's looked I look like I come with like a honey boo boo kind of video but then I spritz it again 
and then I'll just comb it through. Remember, like the goal is to not like saturate your hair with this. It's just to make it like shiny and spunky. Okay, let's curl this bit here because it's looking a bit straight. And just be careful also not to burn yourself. So I like to curl my hair away from my head. That also adds a little bit of volume because you bring the curl up. And that's kind of where you want the volume to sit. So I curl my hair away from my head. I don't like to curl it down here because then the curls just kind of look weird. Okay. So as you can see when I put my hair down there's a bit of volume that I get from this area here. So that's kind of nice and you can part it however you want to, I just kind of leave it in the middle, it's just easier for me to tuck behind my ears when I'm working or whatever. So, let's take this bit of hair and let's cut it. So the front bits of my hair are obviously longer than the back, it's just how my hair was cut and I don't mind it. Um, so yeah, this is literally all I do, I just wrap it around and wait like 10 to 15 seconds and then... I just let it drop so as you can see very honey boo boo I know what you got to do is just help the curl drop a bit so as you can see it looks a lot better than what it was when we first took it down and then just because of gravity and where I live the humidity will drop the curl even more so don't be frightened see that's already dropped so don't be frightened if you have like these big massive curls that you you can brush them out I know a lot of hairstylists brush out the curls um, yeah so don't, don't be frightened if you have like this big honey boo boo curl because <laughs> it won't always look like that. And I think the trick is to just alternate with the direction of the curls so that you have like a variety of different curls going in different directions. I think that just helps make the hair look a lot more natural. So, ooh, working in a mirror is so difficult. Um, so yeah, and the others I went forwards and now I'm going I think backwards I can't remember what last curl I did But I think the whole point is to just like go with the flow and not be too like Oh, I missed the front curl. I need to do the back curl. Don't freak out. Just like let it happen So I'm just gonna brush out the curls As you can see the difference from this side to this side is a lot like there's a lot more volume there's a lot more like definition than what there is on this side so it you don't even have to replicate the curls because it's just like it's your hair your hair is unpredictable so there's like no point trying to make it look exactly the same and curl like the exact same like you know hairs And then like when you go towards the back end of your hair just kind of position it and just grab a curl that you haven't curled or you could get someone to help you okay I'm gonna give this a bit of a spritz The, the little spritzing spray will also just give it a little bit of bounce and some vibrance so and like I don't even know what you would wear this like is it for a special occasion I don't know I just kind of like if my hair is looking a bit fat I'll just take a few curls through it but um I did a video I think about two weeks ago where I did like a really really cool smoky eye and that was like for like a formal event and then I curled the hair and put some like bomb ass earrings on and it like paired so 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 nicely I think that was when you guys wanted to know like how I did the hair and stuff so okay so let's do a side by side comparison so this hair is like a little bit lifeless dull and flat and this one has got some spunk it is still probably going to um, drop a bit just because that's how my hair is but not as much as if I was straightening like for my 21st I straightened my hair and then curled it and then I had like one curl <laughs> left by the end of the night so this will probably last me until like tomorrow, like the curl wise. Um, the volume might drop, um, it's also depending on the humidity that we have here. 
um if you live in like joburg you're probably gonna have like the best hair day of your life when i went to limpopo for holiday for a wedding i literally had the best hair day ever like my hair was so nice and flat and frizz free and when i curled it like the curl stayed oh it was incredible if you live in joburg you are like so lucky so as you can see the way that i curl i curl away from my face i'm not going to drop it down i'm going to keep it up like this this is just going to help with the volume that that little piece creates as you can see i have a very very spunky little curl and i'm sure there's other ways like if you um position the hair differently or if you i know that curling it like this also gives it a little bit of a different style um, like i said i'm not a hairstylist so if you're watching this for tips and tricks you found the wrong channel <laughs> Um, but I'm sure you can curl the hair different ways. I just I just curl it how I curl it and pray and hope for the best that it's gonna work out. So as you can see, when you twist the hair before you place it on the curling iron, it makes the curl a little bit more spunky and almost spring-like. So I like to position those throughout the hair so you have like short, long, curly hairs. And because I mean, your hair is literally unpredictable. Like when I wake up, I'm like, is my hair gonna be a good day? So I kind of want to like mimic that so it looks like kind of natural i know this doesn't look natural now but yeah i think i'm talking too much in this video and i apologize <laughs> i think you can also play up like the the different sections that you take like if you want to take smaller sections and then larger sections that will also play with like the the density and the the style that you get so if you only want thick curls then only take thick pieces but now you see I took like a really really thick piece and it just adds so much nice volume. And then you can also just play it out like does this section need more curls, you know. we have a look at the hair side by side it obviously doesn't look identical and i kind of like that um it just adds a lot of like i don't know like definition and like i like a structureless hair if i can say that so i'm going to try and curl the back pieces here and um <coughs> Um, I think this can this kind of style can work on long hair and short hair. Um, I just personally love like short hair with curls. Like I just, I don't know. I just feel like a fairy, and I feel like you know, I feel like I'm in the Bahamas, and I'm ready to have a few cocktails. So yeah, as you can see, I don't um, like I said before, I don't really worry about the bottom bit. But if you feel like you need the extra volume, like I have now, you can curl the bottom bits, and it will give you a bit of lift. Um, but yeah, I think this is pretty much how I would do my hair. Um, if I feel like I'll go through the sections and see if any more bits need a little bit of attention. Um, and I'm just going to spray this bit. And I think adding this product also just weighs the hair down. So if you're like, oh my gosh, these are way too honey boo boo spunky curls then you can just add a little bit of product and then it will just put weight down on the curl. Um, and that's just, I think, I mean it's logic, it's like if you put weight on something it's going to fall down. Um, but yeah, this is basically how I do my hair. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry if this tutorial seems so simple. This is literally all I do. I just wing it every time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys would enjoy today's video. And I hope you're having an amazing day so far and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!